evening to everyone. Magandang gabi para sa ating lahat. Nandito tayo sa panibagong setcom natin. Bagong episode. Episode number 4 ng The Vogue. Voices of Vocation. At uh, napansin ninyo na uh, wala ang aking uh, partner, si Father Jay. Kaya meron tayong kasama dito sa ating harapan at huwag kayong magtaka ang ating pinaka-kaibigang partner si Father Robin Mercadejas at siguro ay napansin nyo na kami ay nakikita nyo sa salitahanan <laughs> huwag kayong ma-confuse na hindi ito salitahanan ito ay The, the Vogue Voices, Voices of Vocation mm-hmm. at alam nyo napaka-importante yung gabi nito kasi uh, sinimulan na po yung novena ng Piesta ni Claret ngayon na magkakaroon tayo ng Piesta ni Claret sa parimpi po sa October 24. Yan. Kaya yung mga episodes natin dito sa, sa Tata Clarisiano ay pagkahanda natin para sa kapistahan ng ating patron si uh, San, Antonio San Antonio Maria Claret. Kaya... Uh, nandito kami at hindi na namin pinapatumpik-tumpik pa at pinaupo na namin kaagad ang guest natin at walang iba kundi si Father Bernardo Blanco. Father Blanco. Ah, yan, yan, bago natin siya po sabitain. Okay. Yan, no? babati muna. Father uh, Party People, Father People, would you like to greet first? Batiin natin yung mga taga-subaybay ng The Vogue Voices of Vocations. Especially yung mga masugid nating mga taga-sipuray. Oh, 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 dumadami na tayo, lumalaki ng pamilya. Oh, especially, unahin natin yung siyempre yung ating mga Clarisian communities dito sa Quezon City. Ah, ang uh, acting uh, uh, Claret School, ang ating uh, community sa convent, sa Curia, sa Claret Seminary, sa college. Sa Teodhi House Community, ang ating community, nanonood oh, sila ngayon. At sa parokya so, ng Liwanag, San Antonio Maria Claret, magsipiyas natin. Yan, sa parokya ng, ng uh, Immaculate uh, Heart of Mary, dito yeah. sa convent. So, magandang gabi. Yeah, magandang gabi. At uh, pinabati rin natin ang ating mission station sa Ormoc. Ah, nandun din ang Novishate House. Si Father Ama nakikinig sa atin. Oo, oh, yung mga novices so, natin. Sama natin dyan sa... Uh, mission uh, sa Sarangani. Uh, Oo, oh, sa Sarangani, uh, sa Tungawan, sa Gilinan, sa Muanga City, City, Basilan. Basilan, lalo lalo na na ang ating, uh, ang ating panauhin ngayon. Our guest for this evening is, well, spent most of his missionary time here in the Philippines, precisely in Basilan. At uh, bago pa man lang lahat, binabati ko rin ang mga miyembro ng Claret Solidarity Group, ang Filipino community sa Roma, Italia, sa Singapore, at sa Canada and Ireland. No? At binabati ko yung mga kaklase ko ngayon sa mga kabatch ko sa high school, sa Xavier High School sa uh, Mabuhay, sa Buwaga, Sibugay, at na, dito, uh, nakikilig sila sa atin at sumusunod sila sa atin. Sige, batiin natin yung mga nagsha-shout out sa ating uh, Facebook page. Si Tuan Bu sa ating uh, Children's oh. Community, Reverend Ronald. Good evening. Buenos, buenos noches. Uh, Ned Lobos, Marlon Rante, Flor de Lis, Salvador, Sambuanga, Christine Doria, Samuel Bukoy, Rita Gallardo, Ron Apiese Star. Father Edo, good evening. Si Solitero Quadra, and Ma'am Analin Karangan, good evening po. Uh, How Nguyen, Theology House Community, Paul Mark, Presi Plaza, yung ating LCBC, good evening po, Ma'am Presi. Father Larry, from Sampuanga, kumusta ka dyan? And si Lerma Lindo, good evening uh, po. Yeah. Father Bongo, uh, would you like to uh, greet our listeners uh, for this evening? Episode. Okay, I desire that all of you may be participating of the feast of Saint Anton Mary Claret, oh, yes. the patron of the whole congregation, and that we all, Clarician themselves, the profession, and those who are friends of them, and participating in their activities. Good evening, Sayonara. 
Okay. So, Pani Pito, uh, at the very start of this evening, after greeting everyone, would like uh, would you like to lead us into prayer? Okay. Let us uh, put ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear God, guide us in our vocation journey. Teach us how to listen when you speak in our heart. Help us to know what you want us to be and grant us the courage to follow where you lead us. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Muli, welcome sa ating programa, The Road. So, once again, huwag kayong malito, hindi ito sa likaan. Okay? <laughs> Now, kaya na is coming papilala sa inyo. At nandito na nga, nakawag na ang ating uh, guest, no? Ating veteran missionary dito sa Pilipinas. So, uh, veteran of the Torisian Missionary. Uh, to a lang iba, to BC. Father Bernardo Blanco and CNN Senator 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 Bernardo Blanco Uh, there are uh, Cebuano communities also in Malusu, you know? That's right. They're speaking Cebuacan. Yeah. Okay. So, Father Blanco, this is... Uh, uh, we intended to invite you in this, uh, in this uh, episode precisely because we are uh, preparing for the fiesta of our founder, St. Anthony Medical. And since you are uh, one of our most veteran missionaries now here in the Philippines, Malaysian missionaries here in the Philippines, I'd like to hear uh, your vocation story. And then maybe you can share to us, uh, we will we'll start with, what were those things uh, in this uh, calling that you have uh, received from the Lord? Yo no me acuerdo exactamente cuándo empecé, pero hace cinco años. Ya, no hay un primer sin de como un ordinary school en Fea Vega de Ariste, Zamora. ¿Cómo te llevas con mi public school? La aplicación de Fea Vega de Ariste. We have been only the one school. It was in a village only about 2,000 inhabitants. And we were together the boys and the common school. And the only thing that we received was a bad time of the revolution that uh, was very have a very shattered explanation of the gospel. And in these uh, circumstances, perhaps is the time when also my vocation begins. And after my papa, because he was the Christian, was the one who uh, so perhaps remembering me or helping me to understand that in the Claritian missionaries come there every three years because that was a compromise with the bishop of Zamora. Ah, so the kind of, uh, the kind of uh, itinerant bishop. Itinerant bishop, yeah. They have, I think, the compromise with the bishop. But every three years, they should go around all the villages of Zamora diocese. And that is why, perhaps in this coming, it's going to be for something. But the, the teacher, always, every Saturday, is going to the gospel. Okay, but it was your father who, who knew first the yeah. traditions. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My father was very religious and he was the one leading the rosary 
everyday in the family. The mama and company were the one preparing the food, the food, for the shopper. Pero sina? Nalala ko pa yung tita yung yung aking salita. Yung kusina. Alam mo yung nana ito dati. She was, my mother, as Actually, it was uh, kind of resandera, no? Uh, she 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 reads the prayer and muerto, uh, and hatay, and novena, and all these things. And she always uh, tied me along, no? She always bring me to, 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 to the rezo, to the rezo, to the prayer. And I remember that uh, the resandera, we always had the best meal in that. That's why... <laughs> I love, I never say no to my mother. Pag may tanasal, talagang sumasasama ka. Kasi masarap, ano nga na eh. Ngayon ka nang nag-iwit mo. So, and how how did you, how did you meet officially in the declarations? I meet only when I went to Segovia, that is almost nine hours of training. From somewhere we just have to change in Valladolid more, etc. It's very far away, almost more than 1,000 kilometers from my place. So, so because in Samora we have not a college, we have uh -huh. a different uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. but for the ordinary people, uh -huh. not for missionaries. But in Samora, we were the address to Segovia, and my papa was accompanying me in the train. It took almost nine hours to reach Segovia. So it was you and your father who went directly to the seminary. I think the suspect that then through the priest, they communicated with the priest of Zamora and the Zamora told us the college for the seminary is in Segovia only. I don't know exactly the communication because I was only 12 years old. So you were 12 years old when you were in the seminary. Madre mía. Ya. Esto es el tiempo cuando empezaba el estudio de colegio de preparación para el señor. Cinco años de preparación para entrar en el noviciado y después el noviciado lo hacía los pies. Por ejemplo, una pregunta. When you enter the seminary, or uh, when you were 12 years old, you don't have the chance to take vacation even for once? No vacation at all. So meaning to say, once you enter the seminary, you will go out of the seminary when you become a priest already. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I never knew. Uh, <laughs> 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 So, what about us? During the time of Father Blackburn, we are not part of the world. With my entrance there on the Lady Cambridge, I never went to my village. 14 years. That was a normal thing. But your family, your parents, are allowed to visit you. Yeah. My papa and mama went to visit me after two years. After two years, after two years of the entrance there, after even my mama was a little astonished. For what happened, my child? Why? That has no value. Why did you become so free or what? Because it was after the war. Ah, yes, it was the war complex. And the college, I think because of the food in the seminary. Yeah, it is because in my village, we have 14 cows and other things have milk every day. So they are never. So yes, uh, yes. If I did, you know, there's a lot of water. And I remember the shouting of my mother, oh, come into my body. <laughs> <laughs> but she did not uh, bring you a bone, no? No, no. Uh, she allowed me to... The location was above all of the things. Yeah. Yeah. something about the formation process in that time. What were you learning? Uh, yeah, normally we have meditation, 
and I think that, that is where I took the most important ideas. Mm -hmm. And also, um, vacation time, but still, Professor had one month and a half before I study for the vacations, was every day my in charge of taking care of me. Was mm -hmm. always invited me to go to the chapel to visit the chapel. Mm -hmm. Because it was vacation time. And in vacation time, we went to the chapel almost half an hour to make prayer in the company of the Guardian One. Your preparations for the novice was philosophy or other uh, classic studies like Latin? Or? Yeah, in Latin from the first year we have every day. Every day from the very first year. Yeah. We have in French also. French also we have at least three times per week and we have to uh, speak French. Okay. Yeah, we have to bring a French fries. Uh, French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. Yeah. That language is, no? Uh, yeah, the main language was French three times per week and Latin every day. Latin we study from the entrance in the first grade until we went to the philosophy. And in philosophy also in Latin. And after theology in Latin everything. Latin was everything. Mm -hmm. You know about Latin, you go. Yeah, it's like a simple point. I'm going to continue with the But if you have another question, uh, it's so biblical when we say uh, many are called, but few are chosen. No? During your time, how many entered the seminary in your batch and how many remained and became a priest? Yeah, I think we were more than 40. Mm. The first you started year, first time. Yeah. Yeah. How many priests? I don't know, nobody. After we were only 24 priests. 24? Yeah. Ordained? Ordained, yeah. Ooh. More than half? I mean, no, so it's like a, it, mm, perhaps. It is because also in the fourth and five year enter from another preparation in another province. We were mm -hmm. in Segovia. Ah, uh, so there were uh, the like joining Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Yes, yes. Which also were in enter many. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And uh, we had five years of study before the novitiate mm -hmm. inside the, the college. Where, where did you where did you take your theology your theology uh, courses? The theology were in Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Mm -hmm. Also the the, the third, three years of study were in Segovia. But after the fourth and five years was in Santo Domingo de la Calzada, but in different college. We have two for Joan Theology and one for the formation, preparation for the novitiate. So you were ordained twenty-four priests. To the whole priest more or less, yeah. Are they still alive, all of them? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that some of them perhaps are alive, but I have no communication. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't know exactly. Very little communication. By the way, Father Blanco is how many years old? You are about 92. No, they say that they are 92. 92 years <laughs> old? 92 years old. born on 20 de noviembre. And I think Father Blanco will celebrate this year He's 75 years as a priest. Am I correct? Maybe, but I do not count. 75 <laughs> years as a priest. As a priest. Yeah. I, I think so. I think so. It's, uh, that coincides our 75 years as uh, the presence here is. Yes, correct. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do not remember because really the memory is all it already. Mm -hmm. okay. So, but you were ordained also in Santo Domingo. You finish your theology, then yeah. you were yeah. So your parents came, your family came, or no how was that? Was that? Uh -huh. was a brother of mine was a brother, Clarician, is the only one who attended to my ordination. Mm -hmm. How many uh, brothers and sisters you have? We were, they told me 12, mm -hmm. but I knew only about 10. Ah, because okay. I think that two, two of them, or the, they died in the early yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you have one sister, religious, uh, sister. religious sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's now in, in where, Father? In the south of Africa, Mozambique. 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 Yeah. Uh, older sister? Or, she's older than me. Oh, 
is 96. 96, 96 years old. Yeah. What is the year? Uh, and in the mission area, huh? in Mozambique. In Mozambique. I don't care. 96 years old. Yung kabartara na lang. Mag-ayos ko kusama natin yung missionary expedition ni Father. So what was your first assignment? My first assignment was preschool. Right after your ordination. Guinea Equatorial. In Guinea Equatorial. Where is that, Father? It's in... Central Africa, Africa, between Nigeria and Gabon. Nigeria, Nigeria and Gabon. This is uh, English speaking. English, Nigerian is English speaking, the majority. And the workers in Fernando Po were from Nigeria. Perhaps were more than 20,000 Nigerians there. <coughs> we have a school with more than 2,000 children from Nigeria. And that is why esto, we have to learn English, because we learn in English. And the first two missionaries from Nigeria were Father Christian Isidoro and Godwin Ibokwe. You still remember their names? I don't know how I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Short memory. Yes, yes. So these are fixed. It is because they were living with me in the same house. In so, the same yeah. school. so you learned English? Yeah, uh, yeah. You studied English? Yeah, yeah. Where, where did you study your English language? Because mainly there in Guinea Equatorial. Uh -huh. No other further studies? No. I, before they put to us German, they put French, and I don't know more Latin, Latin every day. Yeah, so, and but you, you learn English only in, in, uh, in Guinea, Guinea, Guinea Equatorial. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I learned there because so we have the to attend to the school and mm -hmm. before was father one from Catalonia that was in charge of that so he was transpassed to the Spain again was already old and I was the one taking care of that. Uh, by the way, which province you the Clarician province uh, in charge of the Guinea Equatorial at the time? Is, uh, was already promised there. Ah, it was already a province. Yeah. And we were from different provinces. The but your province was? Uh, my, my province was Castilla. Castilla. Castilla yeah. province. But the, the one who was in charge of this school before, ahead of me, was one from, from Catalonia. Mm. Father, um, I don't know, sadly. <laughs> no, okay. Father, there. may tanong si Ma'am Annalyn Karandang. Father Blanco, um, Annalyn Karandang wants to ask you a question. Uh, what is your secret of staying healthy in mind and body at, at this, this time? Age. At this I age? Don't. What is your secret? I feel Mama Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Mama Annalyn, Mama Mary. Mama Mary, Mama Mary. Yeah. Mama Mary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I we muna natin itong mga, we'd like to greet still some people are here, uh, Father Blanco. Uh, from Basilan, ha? from Basilan, kanina, maagang maagang naghintay si uh, mga pulborosa, pulborosa ka nga yan. No? Ay, yeah, pulborosa uh, okay. At nais nating batiin mga kapitbahay natin dyan, Castillo family, Brusette family, Brusette family Casimilio family, mm -hmm. no? Ravenna, Roda, matagal din. Nasa hindi na ako ng ano eh, sa Maluso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. From Maluso, yeah. From Maluso. Yeah. Maluso, so, yeah, I knew all the Catholics yes. because they attended to the Mass on Sunday. And yes. through the activities, really I am very happy that the men were the ones leading the songs and the rosary. Esto, every first Saturday of the month, go all around Maluso. You remember singing. still the name of the group? The yeah. Crusaders. The Crusaders. The Crusaders. The Crusaders, Crusaders no? yeah. The Crusaders. Uh, Borja family ay na, nakikinig sa atin ngayon. Na? Sila Virgie, sila Ludi. No? Uh, yeah. Kapasta po kayong lahat dyan. Ang um, sa may program tayo doon sa Samal Samal ah, Lodge ah, Foundation. At uh, tayo na rin ang may hawak ng Claret School of, Kest uh, of uh, Maluso. Maluso. Mm -hmm. So, kumusta kayo dyan? At sana ay mapayapa kayo sa gabi ito. And Father Blanco, tell us some experiences there in, in Guinea Equatorial, no? Uh, yeah. It seems that uh, there was also some difficulties of war or something like that in 
Guinea Equatorial. Yeah, after the independence, I was there in the time of the independence of Guinea Equatorial. Before, when I went, was still the colony of Spain. But after they get the independence, came from Franco, one of the ministers of Franco, to give the, the independence to Guinea Equatorial. And uh, I was there in the, after the independence, perhaps more than 10 years. But after, and son in charge of the police mainly was against one Siriaco Boquesa, Clarician, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a missionary friend of Fernando Po. And the, in charge of the police, we can call the Principito, the Principe, mm -hmm. <laughs> was really in desiring money. And in the mass of this father, Tiriaco Boquesa, they saw a scene that apparently was criticizing it to the government. And because of that, he thought that the father Tiriaco Boquesa was the one making that him against the government. And was a him from the books of coming from Central America. And that is why he put in jail. And until we pay 200,000 bicuele, they do not allow him to come out. And was in my own house, oh. in Siriaco Boquesa. Was a native from Fernando Po. Was your kind of lay leader, no? In yeah. The, yeah, and uh, he was in my own community. And I was uh, still the superior there, and that is why I, I was the one paying for him. And after that, I wrote a letter to the president against this Principito, they call, that was in Isabela. So, what did you write? I, I wrote, I think that is totally unjust, this thing that we had on paying 200,000 bicuele, for one thing that is not real, because that song is coming from America publications, mm -hmm. and it's not made by him. He was a musician, and he thought, perhaps, I don't know, he thought or only wanted money, and that he was the one putting that. And when I already paid all this and was out, we went to my own community. This Iriaco Boquesa. Pues I wrote a letter, but I didn't know that this Principito was in charge in the post office. Mm -hmm. And he saw, he saw a letter to the president and signed by Father Blanco. He thought that I am so doing you know. something. Mm -hmm. Then immediately, 24 hours to leave the country, Father Blanco. Okay. Father yeah. Blanco, the provincial is telling us that uh, he is watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Father Eli. Okay, thank you very much, Father. So, uh, very you far. behave, behave. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay so, provincial. So, so, so be careful of our questions. So we jump, <laughs> Father Blanco, from uh, Guinea Equatorial. Your next uh, missionary expedition was where? Here, in the Philippines. So, in the oh, Philippines. Wow. That 24 hours uh, uh, Monday to leave the country. Yeah. So you immediately come to Philippines. No. no, I came to Spain, but after was a meeting of the almost all provincia, of the whole world. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and they called me to go to the meeting, because uh, in the name of the Guinea Equatorial. And there in the meeting, Moraleda, I think, was present, and because he knew that I was a spirit, was talked to the general, this man knows already English, he can go to Filipinas. And that is why I was destined to Filipinas. Okay. Oh. Was uh, Moraleda was the one there. In the Philippines, which uh, community you were you arrived, Father? I uh, to, to the central in, here in, in Manila. Ah, see, I was here. Yeah, Manila. The yeah, pero provincial and house. then your Very first soon. first assignment in in the Philippines. My first was in Bolong. Bolong! Yeah. Bolong! Bolong, Bolong Beach! Sambuanga City! Yeah, it was Bonga fantastic. City. Very because, famous, uh, very yeah. famous. Uh, yeah, Bolong. Yeah. Bolong Beach. Very, very special. Especially at that time, there were no houses there in the near to the sea. We can go, instead of having the um, ducha, or, ¿cómo se llama? The um, bus, uh, showers. shower. We should go to the, to the sea. To, to the, the sea? sea. Oh. <laughs> to take the shower. To take the shower in the sea. <laughs> and after come back for the preparation for the... Ma'alat-alat. 
I just think, yeah, I'm sure I would. Just take your shower in the sea. Yeah, may uh, sa uh, pagkalaman ng, ano, ng karamihan, ay meron po kaming parokya dati, dati, no? sa, sa Bolog, at napakaganda at malapit sa sa dalang pasiga. Oo, no? oh, yeah. Uh, Only the road. Yeah. Sa harap lang namin ay may kalye, tapos dagat na. Yeah. And at that time, were no houses. They, are, oh, they, were, they no can houses go straight yeah. on to take the <laughs> shower in the morning. So after yeah. Bolong, Father, your next assignment? Malusa. In Malusa. Ah, Malusa. Where you spent how many years? Yeah. yeah, in Malusa I was 12 years. 12 years in Malusa as a uh, parish priest. Parish. Yeah, yeah and that is why I know all the 14 or 20 villages. Chapels well, and villages there. And so from Sambuanga the, then to Basilan? Alanga to Basilan, yeah. Maluso, mm. Basilan. I, I was there in Maluso. Maluso, 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. What was and your significant that. experience there in Maluso? You spent 12 years as a missionary. Yeah. You were for me, it was the difficulty in the traveling, especially during rainy seasons was very difficult because sometimes the, even the jeep cannot, co cannot cross, even if we have chains and all these things. It was very difficult because m m roads so mud mm -hmm. and sometimes were a little deep. Only I remember that we, once we have to call some carabao to take us out <laughs> the car. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> can help us. But, but when you arrived in Maluso, it was already a parish or not yet? Si, was, it was, was a parish, a parish. Yeah. Was already a parish. Who were your companions you during that time? Your right? companions there? I think Father Vic was there. But Ooh, I Father was Vic. Oh, Father Vic! Yes, uh, yes. Good evening. Shout out, uh, good evening. Si Father Vic is in the RDA. Yeah. 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 And then who Father else? Vic. Who else? Your companions in the mission. After... Uh, was one Father René, no? Father René also was René also was were there. there. Mm -hmm. Some, I thought some students from time to time also appeared there. Yeah, because Maluso was the community, he was mm -hmm. the center. Yeah. Those from Tumahubo and other places. Father Monge was the one in Tumahubo. Yeah. And we are the two permanent there during almost 12 years. Mm -hmm. And after that is when they made a new parish in Matarlin. Ah, yeah, so it was, was changed. but before that, Matarlin was part of Maluso Parish. Part of Maluso, yeah. And no. then they separated. Separated and, and so you were also separated. was selected a, par a parish, I was the steam there, I was there two years. And ah, when I was kidnapped. So that was the, uh, when you were kidnapped. Yeah. kidnapped. Yeah. Uh, so, so Father, you are holding a book. <laughs> Can you show it to the, to the show, audience? Show it your to book. the audience, yes. Can uh, we see it? Yes, it can be seen. I huh? think many so, of you have seen. This is Father Bernardo Blanco, Shoot an Adventure of Faith. Yeah. Ah. We'll be the one who was published long time ago. What is basically the story of that book, Father? The story here, which is the thing that happened to me during that time that I was in Maluso. What was that, Father? You were? Yes, so, yeah. the reality is that um, esto, when I was in Maluso, even the mayor that was a Muslim, he told me, Father, your name is in the list of kidnapping. Take care. And also one sister from the, what is the name Daughters of our sister? Of Daughters of Charity. which also really? was there. Pero they, when they noticed that, they sent the sister to... Como se llama? to India, because he's an Indian. Pero I do not tell anything to anybody because I was the only one, Clarissa, the superior, and Father Monge was the companion. And Father Monge was in Tumahubun, because he was dedicated especially to the Muslims, and I was only in Maluso. And uh, this thing happened that uh, I was called by the mayor that was a Muslim and told me, Father, your name is in the list of kidnapping. So you were warned. Yeah. But I said, I am the Muslim older here. If I go out, what will do? Mm -hmm. The other companions. So but if I am not told to anybody. 
and ah, the, okay. so you just yeah, yeah, I remain there yourself. all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the third mayor, it was a Muslim, he sent to me a, a person, mm, tell Padre Blanco that his name is in the list of kidnapping. Mm -hmm. So the mayor respected me, he was Muslim, but really he respected me and visited me as any person or the company of his life. So, mm -hmm. so despite of the warning, Father, you stayed. I still remain there. You continue. Yeah. The only thing that um, before I admit in the jeepney or in my in jeep is to anybody who wanted. But for, since I heard that, that I will to be kidnapped, I do not admit anybody. That is why when they kidnapped me, I was the only one. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is why they find the car in the side of the road of the um, Maluso going to Malusa. So you're about so you're to celebrate Mass when so you were kidnapped? Were no, kidnapped. I was in, in buying something and I made a, 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 a place for the boys and girls in order that they may have some thing to learn how to... Uh, school supplies uh, school for the scholars. Yeah. In order that uh, those who cannot go to the university at least they have for some formation mm -hmm. and for the girls I bought uh, 12 sewing machines and uh, because the electricity was not very good we bought mm -hmm. also one or one hundred um, bad uh, engine to produce electricity because otherwise they cannot work. Ah, so and you were building kind of formation center? Yeah, for no, 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 formation for this. And because the formation center the people thought that I had plenty of money and that's why they kidnapped me in that way. No. Not because they hate me, because in reality they treat me with all the respect, I'll always call me father, it's time for prayer. O sea, they treated me with respect, the Muslims. Pero in, probably... In the, during the kidnapping. During the kidnapping, that. And I think that they no wanted um, to harm me, in reality not treat me with hard words and all these things. So in all this, father, it's time for this, it's time for... So I treated me with all the respect. Mm -hmm. And this because they only wanted money. Because probably they were the ones the, selling the wood for the formation center. But mm, I only asked to Belgium for the money. And immediately they gave me it. I sent the main boys to Belgium and Belgium sent me the money. Mm -hmm. And the mm, mostly they thought that I am very rich. And that is why they kidnapped me and asking me for 10 million pesos. Mm -hmm. So you were kidnapped for how many days, Father, in the mountains? You spent yes. how many days? Uh, nine, almost 90 days. 90 days? Yes. In the mountain, huh? Yeah, here is um, written down more or less. Yes. And then the title of your book is Shoot. What happened during that why, time? Why is that uh, shoot? Shoot is because I, in the, they asked me to pay 10 million pesos and I said, in the diocese, he had to pay this, it will be in Rotten, so that not, not pay to the almost 30 workers that they have. And, then? and that is why he wanted to be killed in order not to pay. That is the reason. And so I, an Armalite was... Uh, so they put the Armalite um, because I was fighting with them in order that they may be angry and kill me in order mm, not to pay. So you wanted to provoke them? <laughs> yeah, I, provoke. Yeah, I provoke them in that way. And when they put the armor like this, when I stopped to fight, and, and they, so they hold me and they tie so me to the mountain. But before shoot. they could not, I was fighting with them. <laughs> Even they asked me, Is to, have you been boxing before? No, it's my first time. <laughs> so you must be very strong. I, I bo huh? box, uh, fight against them, and in reality they no catch me until they put the armor light. So when they put the armor light on your forehead, you said, forehead. shoot. shoot. And it's the time when I stop to fight, and they hold me and tie me already to the um, place where they were. were. So you were, really you were captive uh, for 90 days? 90 days, I think, more or less, yeah. So, more or less, three months. So, so fast forward the thing, now how, how did you end the... How were you able to... How were you able to... At the end, because they noticed that uh, I did not pay to them anything. Because uh, normally they know many of the people they, who were before in the place where they put me. Because uh, many of them they went out already. All, and they left me in reality. Only were two in the night when I escaped. There were only two there and no pay attention to me. 
because I normally because take only rice and water, water and rice, no fruit, no fish, no meat. That is why I lost about 20 kilograms. My clothes almost fell so, down. So you were able to to skate. I uh, more or less at what hour? I must be around now 12 midnight more or less. Mm -hmm. It is because. I, I drink all the that um, water and I uh, have to go to urinate around 12 or something like that. Night, yeah. And every night somebody accompanies to, to the, to the uh -huh. place to urinate outside of the um, place where we were. And then one night? Well, and this last night, no of the two who were there, no pay attention to me. And I went out by myself. And I still came back in order to see if they were looking for me. But the two that were only taking care of me was not put attention. That is why I said, Lord, apparently you are telling me to go. And because it was round moon, and from my place I could see the chapel that the Bishop Crejeta had made in Monte Calvario. In Monte Calvario. My direction was totally there. And I promised that it happened who happened, I would strike on. Because I heard that somebody that was in the desire escape after two hours appear in the same place. Then yeah. I found problems, uh, difficulty, I go or up or down, but no, never to the left or to that. And was Straight, full right? Full moon, moon, yeah. Was full moon because I had no pl plus line or nothing. I was straight on totally. Even it is difficult, and after I passed the river, and this river was the, top, the one who passed near to Malusa. And it's more or less the division between the Muslims and the military. Would you consider that father as a miracle when you escaped that time? Because you you urinated, no, and then you come back. Yeah. And then I saw that nobody paid attention. No. Is when I decided to go. Because more or less I promised to Jesus I will not escape unless you tell me anything. Because I saw Jesus there and Mary when I was saying the rosary. It's the only time in my life that I have seen them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jesus is the one who ashamed me in the greatest time, the greatest feeling, is when he told me, and you will leave me alone. I saw, when I was saying the form, sorrowful mystery, saw Jesus carrying the cross and Mary very near to him. And he told me, and you will leave me alone. I have never been ashamed in all my life as in that moment. And this when I decided... I decided, unless you tell me another thing, I will not escape. So I decided that. Pero but last in, night, that night, in that night, when I saw like that, a sign uh, yeah. a clear mm. sign. and I came back, and no, no, the two that were there not taught me anything, I said, Jesus, apparently you are telling me to go. Uh -huh. Because otherwise I promised to be there all the time. And apparently that is when I decided to go. That is and the real thing. Uh, yeah, it was uh, after 12, midnight, more or less. And uh, I, after, find some people. Were you, were you running, or how, how do you no, feel running that way? Fast, you go, go? going fast. Uh -huh. And really became totally tired. And at the end, uh, still I didn't know where I was. But I noticed past the river, the Kumalaran river. Uh -huh. I passed already. And uh, I never go near to the houses and they saw they are in some farms. I was separated until I found a road and followed the road because I was very tired. And uh, arriving there, pues, I saw some people who uh, shout at me. I didn't understand what they shouted at me. And I answered, Assalamu alaikum. No answer. Pari blanco co, pari blanco, pari blanco. It's when so they, they came to me near to me. Yeah, we were Christians. Yeah. And it's the first place where uh, this store they offered me the coffee. best coffee. The best coffee. <laughs> best coffee. After the kidnapping, yeah. the best coffee. Oh, the best coffee. <laughs> really, really was a tremendous uh, best coffee. You know what? Uh, in, from that community, they have already one priest ordained. Huh? I am. Yes, yes. yes. Very, the very one good. who received you there, that community, mm -hmm. they have uh, one young priest ordained. Very, very good time, very happy. Yeah. Didn't the family treat me with all? O sea, the, the, the one who met me were the guards. Mm -hmm. 
of the village. Yes, yeah. And they told me after I go to that house. And going to that house, they treat me change all my clothes. They prepare an egg and hot milk and all these things. And they call the mayor. And the mayor told me, wait for me, I will go. And we waiting until... The mayor of Isabella. Isabella, yeah. Isabella. Was a Catholic. And he came personally with four guards. And these four guards were the one taking care of me. And we wanted to go to the bishop, but still was dark. Perhaps it was still four o'clock or something like that in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We can see uh, in the yeah. experience of Padre Blanco, no? a real missionary. Missionary experience. That, a Clarissian missionary that nothing daunts him. No? Walang kinakatakot. No? Okay, uh, mm -hmm. This coming uh, Fiesta of Claret, no? that's a reminder for all of us. Clarissian, Clarissian collaborators, our mga katuan natin, mga kalakbay natin bilang mga Clarissiano. Nothing daunts us. No? Kagaya ni Father Blanco, no? despite of the warnings of the kidnapping, the danger of the kidnapping, patuloy pa rin siya sa kanyang pag-imisyon bilang misyonerong Clarisiano para sa tao. Yeah. Okay. I have to recognize yeah, that really Jesus and Mary loves me. Okay. Sabi, sabi am... ni Bajibar, uh, his book should be titled, Coffee Escape Because... <laughs> 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 yeah. That's the first thing. The best coffee in all my life <laughs> was that. Best coffee yeah, after coffee kidnapping. <laughs> Father Blanco, because we don't have any more time, no? Do you okay. have any inspirational message for our viewers? Say, so, uh, in spite of the difficulties and problems they may find in life, they should try to follow Christ and follow Mary, because I recognize that they really took care of me. And tolerated all these things in order to mm, make me live the things that temporal and to admit uh, the ones who are permanent. That is the presence of God, the presence of Mary, and the purpose of my vocation that is that. Offer my life totally as Jesus for my brothers and sisters. Maravis, Thank you very much, Father. Later Blanco. we will bring a song to Mary huh? before we close. Okay. okay. <laughs> nice to lang batihin muli yung mga uh, sumusunod sa atin uh, sa tungawan sila Ferdi, uh, Evangelista Family. Uh, maraming salamat sa pagsubagbay. Uh, ngayon pala, birthday ni Kiet, Nicodemus. Uh, Happy birthday, Kiet, Sir Kiet. salamat sa... Jersey ng Claret, ha? Maraming salamat. <laughs> <laughs> si Pipo daw. Meron bang kapatid yan yung Jersey? <laughs> gusto rin niya ni Pipo. <laughs> Kaya kita. Sa so Monday, birthday ni Father Sammy. Oo, oh, uh, Father Sammy. Ang uh, president and dean uh, ng graduate school ng uh, San Antonio Claret, Claret College at sa Institute of uh, Consecrated Life in Asia. So, mga kapatid, tuloy-tuloy itong programa natin. Uh, every Friday, the Vogue, Voices of Vocation. Vocation. At bukas, uh, kasama din sa paghahanda natin sa kapisahan ng ating patron, San Antonio Maria Claret, ay tinatawag natin uh, kantahan, nagkakahan, tawanan, kwentuhan ang uh, Tatak Clarisiano Saturday event. No? At siyempre yung aming salitahan ni Father Pipo oh, oh. and Leaf of Faith ni <laughs> Father Lito tuwing uh, Thursday. Kaya tuloy-tuloy na ito at sana laging nandiyan kayo at makapulot ng uh, aral, inspirasyon sa buhay, tuwa at kapayapaan at pananahan. Kaya kayo din na uh, gusto nyo mag-indicate no, ng gusto niyo mag-share, dumaan dito at mag-share sa inyong kwento tungkol sa tawag ng Diyos para sa inyo. Nasaan ka man, ama, ina, ng tahanan, welcome, na welcome po dito uh, sa ating Voices of Vocation. Okay. Yan, nice natin pasalamatan ang ating mga sponsors pa rin dito. Okay, pasalamatan natin ating mga sponsors, Papas Lechon. Makikita po ito sa Sariaya, Quezon, kung magagawi kayo doon along uh, Maharlika Highway beside uh, BDO. Papas Lechon, mura pero masarap. <laughs> masarap, Padre Si Blanco. Father Blanco sa kasalukuyan at the, the very moment is with us in the community of Claret, uh, San Antonio Maria Claret Theology House. No? 
Kaya, siya po ang aming uh, spiritual, spiritual director. director. At uh, alam namin na uh, uh, siya ay nagdadala sa patak Maria sa ating uh, sa ating probinsya, sa ating kongregasyon. He is much more very known to us as the, the Marian missionary. Uh-huh. Uh, lahat naman tayo Marian kasi uh-huh. we're son of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pero kakaiba ang diin ni Father Blanco uh-huh. sa pananampalataya at uh, yun, Marian. Kaya nga, tanong ni Ma'am Annalyn kanina, paano ba maging ano, ma- matibay uh, si Maria ang sagot niya? Si Maria. <laughs> sa mga na-inspire kay Father Blanco sa kanyang buhay, misyonero, at kayo ay nakakaramdam ng pagtawag sa Diyos, no? mag-message lang po kayo sa aming Facebook page sa uh, Be Acclaration Missionary, And, um, dito po sa Claret Vocation Office, bisitahin niyo po kami sa Mayumi Street, UP Village, inside Claret School of Quezon City with telephone number 0292546469 and mobile number 0926744-9320. Hanapin niyo lang po ang aming director, si Father Martin L. Ayun, uh, shout out sa kay... Kay nag birthday ngayon no? si ano uh, Lubaton uh, direct pa baba nga yan si si ano si Clarence si Clarence Lubaton anak ni Celso Lubaton Happy birthday oh, happy birthday at may nagtanong dito Father Blanco when we are going to see you in Canada <laughs> uh, Jessica De Leon no uh, no yes eh, Obra is in Canada listening to you. Special, well, special guy. We can accompany you yes. in Canada. I uh-huh. can bring your things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Darating ka niya, ha? Darating ka niya. Hindi lang siya, siyempre may alala yan. Ano yung kanta niyo, Father? Ayun, uh, direct. Meron ba tayo nga na dyan? Uh, Final yeah, song? Just, uh, we would just like to pay homage to Mary with this song. Uh, tingnan natin kung kaya natin ito. Uh, Si Father Blanco alam niya by memory pero
Good night sa inyo lahat. Good night. At sa muli, ito ang The Vogue Voices of Vocation. Muchas gracias, Padre Blanco. Adios, Sandalas. Maraming salamat. Ay, inyo lahat. Okay.